Hey everyone, welcome to my five part putting series. This is video one, and I am Tyler Dice. So, part one is all about your setup. There's two main things you need to uh, be concerned about with your setup consistency and repeatability. That is exactly what your setup has to have for you to be a better putter. So, when you're setting up to the ball, like I said, you want something that's consistent and very repeatable. You don't want to, you know, one day set up like you normally do, and then the next day you set up, your shoulders are open, and your, or your hips are closed, or you're hunched, hunched over way too much. You want something that is the same day in and day out, and that is the most important thing with your setup. If you look at all the golfers on tour, they all have very different setups in their putting. It's okay; it doesn't really matter. It's just something that's com comfortable to them that they can repeat and be very consistent with on a day in and day out basis. So, you know, you have uh, a lot of people have different types of different body types. You want to pick someone who's similar to your body type and that's who you kind of want to emulate with your setup. You know, it's a guy like Phil Mickelson. He's a, he's a, he's a bigger guy. He's, you know, 6'3". He's real thick on his upper body. He's a little bit more hunched over. Whereas a guy like Tiger Woods, he's see about six foot one, you know, six feet one inch tall. He's you know very thin and lean, so he kind of stands uh, where his butt he's a lot taller, a little bit more athletic position while he's putting. You know, so your setups can vary widely, you know, widely while you're uh, putting. So you want to make sure you just pick something that's comfortable to you that matches your body type. And and like I said before, it has to be consistent and repeatable. So those are the two main things with your setup. So go ahead, get something that works for you, practice it, and I'm sure you'll get better. 